Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and making what is inside the Paper Pumpkin subscription box by stamping up. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside this box, be sure to stay tuned. All right, again, thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. In this box I have from Stampin' Up is a beautiful, I'm sure, because most of the things from Stampin' Up are beautiful, paper pumpkin subscription box. So a friend of mine um, is selling stamp, Stampin' Up. I used to be a Stampin' Up demonstrator, but then just had so much other things going on that I decided not to. Um, but when I do go and hang out with her, one of the things we like to do is do her paper pumpkin um, boxes. So I figured I would go ahead and get my own and it will be some cool things for you guys to kind of see. And those of you that do make cards or, you know, other kind of crafts, maybe you could get some new ideas just from what's inside the box. So let's see what they gave us for today. Um, so it looks like right off the bat, we get a stamping block, which is awesome. I do love a clear block. Um, and I really enjoy this size because it will be perfect to just kind of keep on my desk. So I don't have to pull out my huge stamping up case. Um, so yeah, that's nice. A nice acrylic block. And then we got this beautiful Bermuda Bay, which is one of my favorite stamping up colors, um, in ink. And this super cute ink set which says you are so cool happy birthday way to go hey there and then you have your cute little ice cream and a watermelon and i don't know what those are supposed to be little drops or something sprinkles i don't know but cute welcome thanks for choosing paper pumpkin your one-stop box for creativity and then it kind of gives you some directions on how to stamp and some resources that you can use and if you're interested in Paper Pumpkin, I will leave a link below with um, Amanda's information so that you can get your own subscription box. And this paper looks like it's called Ice Cream Corner, which I love it. It's gorgeous. I hope that's what's inside here. And again, if you like it, I will leave this um, link so that you are able to purchase your own paper. Um, so we obviously know that this is a very summerish themed box. All right. Come on. Okay. All right, so let me get all of this out of the way. All right. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. So this is the April box. I'll move this stuff out of the way so I have lots of room. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And my favorite scissors from Stampin' Up. They are super duper sharp. So I do try to keep the lid on there at all times because I have dropped them on the floor once and they stood straight up and they landed. So y'all see that? I got a fly. Friends, it's spring here now, obviously. Um, if you're watching this in the Midwest, <laughs> we are officially in spring season. And today I was in the hallway coming into my apartment and I saw this little fly and I'm like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It came in. So I apologize if you see this new little fly friend coming around. Um, but the kit came with some envelopes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 envelopes, and they're super pretty, and I love the pattern on the inside. These are gorgeous. And then, oh, that's fun. These are already shaped little cards. So you have like the Kiwi Popsicle, and then you have your rainbow. Wait, there's, I guess there's probably three or four of the Kiwi. Three Kiwi, three of this little rainbow color. And then three of the watermelon. And then three of the other rainbow. Super cute. I love the watercolor vibes. 
Um, and then these are, are these stickers? Yes, stickers here, so two sheets of these. And then you have two sheets of these like die cut shapes. Ooh, that is sparkly. What is this? I don't know. Oh, these are also like die cut pieces. And then it comes with the little um, adhesive dots. I don't like to use these though because they're very difficult to get off. So I do keep the mini glue dots handy just in, to use these instead. Um, and then you get your uh, dimensionals, um, which if you purchase them, um, you know, from Stampin' Up, it comes in a larger package, but they give you a sheet of those. And let's see, a box, and then of course your directions page. So let me get this out of the way. And let's get started.
All right, so there you have it. You have the watermelon way to go cards, your happy birthday rainbows, and your you are so cool popsicles, and your kiwi popsicles. And they are so cute. I absolutely love them. This collection was very cute. I just realized that these are the little envelope seals. So when you do pop them in the envelopes, you can put a cute little sticker on the outside and it'll kind of match everything, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, again, the Paper Pumpkin subscription box. It even gives you a few more ideas of some things that you can do, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with the way they turned out. They're cute and I can't wait to pass them out to people. And yeah, if you like this box, again, I will leave a link down below with Amanda's information so that you can purchase some paper pumpkin kits yourself. And um, also, if you have not already done so, be sure to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that share button so that other people can watch this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Good